I'm visiting here today with Ken Carlson, and, and Ken, it's it's a pleasure to be with you. Thank you, Alan. It's a pleasure to be here. So in the uh, you, you, you do movie production, but you've been involved in many things. But for the listeners, can you give us a time, uh, you know, a little timeline of your, your life and what brought you up to where you are today and some of the projects you worked on in the past? Absolutely. Uh, I uh, graduated from Brown University uh, in uh, 1986. And I played football there. Uh, I, I got offered uh, scholarships uh, around the country to, to play, and I decided to go Ivy League and, and uh, got a great education. So it kind of started me off on my path. I knew I always wanted to tell stories. I uh, wasn't quite sure how, uh, and film and television seemed uh, uh, like the, the best way to, to get my stories out. Uh, so, uh, but I, I needed to pay some bills and needed to you know, get uh, my... my uh, uh, feet on the ground, so I went to Washington D.C. and I worked uh, uh, for a company there a while, and uh, for about two years, uh, Reuben H. Donnelly, and 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 sold some advertising, uh, and then I uh, I rode my bicycle across the United States from Seattle to Atlantic City, and and wanted to really experience what the United States was all about, and I sure did. Wow. Uh, when I got back, I got into film and television, and that was in Washington D.C. I eventually got a job uh, with America's Most Wanted. Uh, and that was about a seven-year stint, which was wonderful to to uh, uh, to bring uh, uh, victims uh, closure uh, and and bring perpetrators of crimes to justice. That was really an important uh, element of of uh, my growth. And then uh, they have uh, crime in Los Angeles, so I moved from uh, from Washington D.C. to Los Angeles, and eventually got into uh, uh, into making documentaries, which I'm really passionate about. Uh, so I've made uh, film and television, but I've primarily uh, focus on uh, social uh, justice uh, issues uh, uh, in uh, in this world of ours. So that's a quick way of saying, you know, I've I've uh, uh, I, I've been out here now for 25 years and uh, I also do I'm a, a professional photographer. Uh, I do a lot of commercial uh, real estate. So I have my hands in a lot of different uh, pies, if you will. When you look at the industry today and the, the film and television, uh you know, how has that changed and what do you see for the future? Well, there's a lot of consolidation uh, and, and storytelling is good stories still sell. Uh, that's the good news. Uh, the bad news, if you will, is that uh, uh, there are, uh, the, well, the good news is there's a lot more ways to get your story out, but it's harder, I think, to to get a story told, to get financing. And, and there's uh, there are ten pole pictures uh, now and then there's low uh, end and there's nothing in the middle uh, things are going towards television, uh, which is uh, a serial television, as we see Game of Thrones and, and whatnot. So uh, there's still great opportunity, great growth. But with the cons consolidation of, uh, of the companies, I think that uh, uh, they're looking for a specific product. And I, I, uh, it, it, uh, it, the reason why I make the films I make is because I don't see it uh, happening a lot in our industry. And, I, and I, this latest film I made, The Heart of Nuba, is really about... Uh, you know uh, about a man that is making a difference in the world in a, in a war torn area of uh, the Nuba Mountains in Sudan, and so one man can make a huge difference. I made a film, and 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 it has made a huge difference in that part of the world. Uh, and so I stick to product. I stick to to uh, films that I think can have an impact, and our society can make a difference. Let's let's go to the heart of Nuba, and before we move into there. America's Most Wanted was one of the first shows where they call the audience to call of action. If you've seen this person, call XYZ. The Heart of Nuba also has a, a similar call to action, except it's more in a philanthropic. Yeah, that's a good, uh, uh, that's a good way to put it. I, I loved America's Most Wanted because there was instant gratification. I literally could profile a criminal and on a Tuesday and on a Friday night we'd show him and on a Saturday we'd, we'd get leads and we'd perhaps have him in custody within a couple of days. I say him because primor it was uh, primarily uh, 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 males. Mm -hmm. So that was a call to action. We prompted people to get involved and, and to, to give us tips and lead us to these perpetrators. Uh, Amer uh, the heart of Nuba is is something that uh, you know I created to call people to action as well. It's a story. It's a piece of art. It's a film, primarily. That's first and foremost. But it also calls to action. It tugs in your heart and it makes you feel responsible for 
uh, getting out and making a difference in the world. So, so they are different. They are they are similar in that way. I would agree. Uh, but what we've done with this film, it's just uh, it's mind blowing that we were able to make a film about a a, a selfless and a courageous individual uh, doing great things in the world, which so much of that's out there is negative. This guy is a true saint. I mean, what he's doing, and we were able to get the final product in front of the villain uh, of the film, the the the. The antagonist, Omar Hassan al-Bashir, the president of Sudan, who's responsible for the atrocities like Darfur, we were able to get it in front of him. He saw it, and within 48 hours, he called for a ceasefire in the Nuba Mountains. Oh, my God. So we have wow. been, we've experienced peace, temporary peace, for 20 months now. People are living outside of foxholes. So one of the takeaways I get from this is... If you really believe in something, go out and do it because you can. Your voice can be heard and you can make a difference in this world. Just like Dr. Tom Katina is doing in the Nuba Mountains, this film has done on a global scale. The Heart of Nuba as a, a documentary, if a person wanted to see that, how would they go, go about? Yeah, The Heart of Nuba, well, keep in mind, uh, it, it's a documentary, so the avenues aren't as great. But we yeah. did have a really big theatrical release. Uh, we were in over 50 theaters across the country. Uh, and we had great success there, and, and we made a deal with Hulu. So you can see it on Hulu. Uh, you can see it on Amazon. You can see it on iTunes. You can see it on uh, Xbox and, and PlayStation and Sony, and it's showing across, uh, across the world. But here in the United States, Hulu, Amazon, and, and, uh, uh, Hulu, Amazon and, uh, and iTunes is the best way to see it. Now, th there's also a, a, a cause there. The audience wanting to be involved. If they want to get involved with the philanthropic side, is there a venue that they set up for that? Or yeah, absolutely. Uh, one of the things we wanted to make sure by 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 uh, making this film, we wanted to raise funds for the uh, the Mother of Mercy Hospital where Dr. Tom Katina is located, and to take care of those people. The only way to do it really is through funding, and we were able uh, to to uh, get this message out and you can go to theheartofnuba.com and click on the donate button and you can you can donate you can contribute to this cause which we've raised over four hundred thousand dollars now uh, and by uh, the end of this uh, year I know we'll raise over a hundred thousand or another uh, five hundred thousand we'll raise another hundred and all of that goes to saving lives and it's my wife and I set up a, a, a 501c3 so everything that is given is a hundred percent goes to saving lives in the Nuba Mountains, which to me is, is, is one of the greatest things I've done in my life, uh, that knowing that people now are living outside of foxholes, people are actually uh, living a normal life in the bush, uh, in the Nuba Mountains of Sudan, that to me is, is, uh, is, is godly. I mean, that, that, it, that feel like there's been an intervention. I, was, I had Dr. Tom Katina put in my, in my, uh, in my pathway back in, at Brown University. We played football together. Uh, we were, so we were teammates and we were classmates and we had each other's backs then and 30 some years la later we come, it comes around and we have each other's backs now in life. So it's a wonderful story but it's all about Dr. Tom and what he's doing for these people. Ken, it's been a pleasure having you here today with uh, discussing the heart of Nuba and also for the listeners telling your history of the career and film industry. Thank you, Alan. It's been a joy. Thank you. Appreciate it. Create joy. Thank you. <laughs>